How you guys doing? Uh, so today I decided again. So the reason why I'm doing most of these videos is because I don't see them on YouTube. So um, 96 Plymouth Neon single overhead 420A uh, five speed. Uh, I d it has never been rebuilt. It has 191,000. Well, after I've had it, probably 192, almost 193. But I want to. What well, my plan is for this is to completely, pretty much fix, pretty much replace everything that should be replaced because of the age of the vehicle. So that means. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm probably because it's single overhead cam. I'm probably gonna change it to do to dual overhead cam. So I'm going to do that when I have enough money to actually get a dual overhead cam. But I'm going to end up doing a, a full port and polish on this head anyway. So um, what I'm doing is I'm taking off the intake to see if I have anything to actually port and kind of, I guess, port and polish as much as I can to a plastic intake. Which probably won't be much, but we'll find out. Um, or if anything, I'll probably just end up boring out the um, the throttle body, if I'm gonna be honest, because that's that, and I'm gonna start marking up on the hood where I'm gonna end up having the quote and unquote ram air. But this is what I'm end up doing. I had to I had to end up plugging. So back to the my car <coughs> and what it is right now and what I'm doing. Um, so I've had to unplug the fuel line already which is just it's it's a quick disconnect it's a quick disconnect but it's like if you don't have a quick disconnect thank god it's only you just pinch these down and they move down and you can just slide that right off which is convenient as fuck um i've already unplugged the this injector and this inject i've already unplugged one and four i need Hi, puppers. What's up, baby? So, guys, just to let you know, if you're only here for dogs and shit like that, I, my channel has dogs. Uh, this is baby. Hi, baby girl. How are you doing? This is baby. She's two months, and she's going to be... She is my baby. 800 bucks. I love her. She's perfect. Anyway, so back to this. I've already unplugged one and four, so I'm going to plug two and three next. Unplug two and three next. Which is weird because these kind of like are super easy to fucking, I don't, well at least these ones are. I know they shouldn't be this easy because I've been a tech for a few years and I've never seen any of this easy to pull out. Sorry, I know my bad camera skills, I apologize. Uh, I'm probably going to get new injectors too, honestly. Uh, this was my daily at one point, but then the registration problems happened. So this is just, I'm just taking it apart. Um, I've blacked these out. These are stock. Uh, these are red LED and these are stock or no, these are stock head housings, but this is a 6k watt. No, this is 8k, which is not what I wanted. I wanted 12k. Amazon sucks. They don't know how to send the right products, but it works perfectly. It works fine. I have no complaints on the way it works, but I have complaints on the color. Uh, my entire rear, my, all of my rear, uh, headlight or tail light light sockets are all led um because led life so unfortunately i'm gonna have to do this by hand with one hand because i am trying to hold the camera at the same time so a good thing that it's not as tight as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> uh, okay by the way i'm using to to take off the fuel rail, I just, like I showed you, I unclipped this. For these, normally they have a metal clip that goes into them, but they don't have them on this one, apparently. Uh, but normally, you're going to have to pull this clip out to actually pull this completely out. Um, I am, I'm using a 13. I'm using a 13. Duralast ones, uh, I used to work at O'Reilly's. Uh, I like the O'Reilly ones, but this, uh, he, there's five minutes from my house, so I'll, I might end up going to O'Reilly's rather than driving 15 minutes to, uh, or I'm gonna go to AutoZone rather than driving 15 minutes to O'Reilly's, so that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. Plus, I kind of like the finish on the, on the AutoZone, uh, tools. They may not be the best, but reminiscent of the, when Pittsburgh were good, you know, when... Pittsburgh, you know, the, the Harbor Freight brand, when they did pretty good. 
Whoops, excuse me. Excuse me, baby. Oh. Now these, and from what from what I understand, you don't need to torque down. Oh, wrong one. You don't need to torque down your fuel rail. You don't need to torque it down, but I mean, some people like want to, some people don't. From what I remember from from doing my brother's fuel rail on his Dakota, uh, it just snapped in and out whenever it was actually sat right. Oh, baby, why do you always get underneath me? I swear, I. Oh, this puppy is so cute, but she can get in my way sometimes. All right, so for the fuel rail to come out. So for the fuel rail to come out. I had to take these clips out on each injector to actually pull the whole thing completely out. But I think I'm gonna keep it like that because my whole point is to take the entire intake manifold out. So we'll see what happens. Uh, my phone's about to die, so I'm gonna plug it in and record in a little bit. This probably is already gonna be out by the time I pick up my phone to record again. So uh, you'll see with an update, probably this might be a short video.